Everyone tweet at Kool-Aid. Please sponsor Jay Moore. Serve you guy. Cheers. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that, please. Hey, review family. Keep it. I keep it tight. My name is Jay Moore. Serve you guy. I'm back again to bring you another video. Welcome to the second installment of Albums I Liked. So this is the catch-up series for people that can't follow every one of my reviews, but still want to know the album releases that I really enjoyed throughout the month. November was an amazing month. It was one of the best months that I've had for music this entire year. There were tons of great releases and a lot more that I couldn't even get to that I may end up doing in a Throwback Tuesday video. But before we get into it, I just wanted to say, please tune in tomorrow for the debut of my new series, 30 Facts About. I'm going to be taking suggestions for artists in the comment section of that video. And what it is, is it's going to be 30 Facts About an Artist or a Band. It's going to have some funky editing in it. It's going to have pictures, lots of editing and information. So if you could check it out tomorrow, I'd really appreciate it. I'll probably do a premiere. So if you are there, I'll probably be in the chat and stuff, so look forward to that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. First off, Architect's album, Holy Hell. Quite possibly my favorite album of November. It was really, really straight to the point. Progressive Metalcore with some amazing vocals. Sam Carter was a beast on this, and the instrumentation was even better. It was so technical, but it wasn't too over the top to where it sounded mechanical. It still sounded like people playing, and I loved the heck out of this album. It was one of my most anticipated leading up to it for months. I reviewed some of the tracks in the track review series. But I just love this album so much. Definitely go check it out. Uh, so I forgot to say, but it goes without saying that all of these reviews are going to be in the description below. So feel free to go and check out the reviews that I did for all the albums mentioned in this, just so you can get a better grasp of what I thought of each one. Next up, I gotta give a shout out to Automaton's album Talos. This is a fantastic Drone Doom psychedelic metal album. If you're into that, they're from Greece. Uh, the band, as well as the record label, actually acknowledged my review. It, it did very well, and it's a super murky, just disgusting, terrifying album in the best way possible. It, I think I labeled it as like my most disgusting album of the year. It really was scary, it was weird, it was funky, but it was still somehow catchy and I really like this album. Couldn't do this video without shouting out Oxnard by Anderson Pack. Really loved how soulful and just rich this album was. It was so rich. Anderson was hilarious on this album. Some of his bars were really good. Some of his meanings were very good. He is such a talented, well-crafting, and well-tailored songwriter. The construction of each track was so good. Straight to the point. Funny, sometimes introspective. It really was just an amazing album, and while it wasn't perfect, while there were some tracks that I was a bit iffy on, it still was a very good album, and it was something that I had been anticipating, a lot of other people were anticipating, and from what I've heard, for the most part, it didn't really let down. Next up, I gotta give a shout out to Esben and the Witches album, Nowhere. Really funky, strange, black gaze album that has really beautifully chilling and haunting female vocals that lead in the mix, and they are beautiful. It works well. The only complaint I have was that sometimes they can feel a bit disconnected from the instrumentation, but it really was an interesting Black Gaze album, and I'm not someone that usually is into that genre whatsoever. I'm not that into Death Heaven, I'm not that into Al Say, I'm not that into, uh, I think Bostonage is another one that's kind of Black Gazey, although I did kind of like their album, but either way, this really was a great Black Gaze album, and definitely my favorite Black Gaze album of the year, even if I haven't heard that many. Next up, we got Cow to Decapitation with Medium Rarities. <laughs> This is an amazing compilation, got some demos, got some raw stuff, it is super raw recorded, and that's the point, a lot of, I believe seven tracks are raw demos, there's bonus tracks from different albums that they've released, it spans their whole career pretty much, or at least the majority of it, and it really is a kind of celebration of the band, really dug into this album, really enjoyed it, I believe I gave it a 9 out of 10 if I remember correctly, or an 8 out of 10, but it was brutal, it was heavy, it was amazing. Getting to some more of the recent albums that I've reviewed. There's been quite a few albums that have released near the end that I've really been into. First of which would be Unearth's album, Extinctions. This is a balls to the wall metalcore album that is super heavy, super kind of run-of-the-mill in the best way possible. I think that it works out in its favor, and amidst all of the many subgenres that have been formulating over the years, I think that Unearth Stays is one of the most consistent, one of the most pummeling, and one of the most interesting metalcore bands that that scene has to offer. There's a reason they've lasted so long. 
You don't stand the test of time unless you're actually good at what you do. Next up is Ski Mask the Slump God's album Stokely, my favorite rap album of the month, probably my favorite rap album of the past like three or four months I'd say, or maybe even more. Really dug into this album, I thought it was hilarious. Ski Mask really brings his best, he really brings on some great features, his lyricism is funny, his flows are great, the production is amazing, and it all just works out really great. I gave this album a 9 out of 10, really love the heck out of this album. And then finally, we got Earl Sweatshirt's album, Some Rap Songs. This is my most recent review. Um, it is weird. That I don't know how else to put it. It's very avant-garde. It's very lo-fi. I'm still a bit iffy. As of the recording of this video, I still can't wrap my head around what this album was. But what I do know is it was different, it was fun, it was interesting, and it was a nice listen, I'm gonna be honest. But what were your favorite albums of November? Go ahead and post them in the comment section below and maybe I'll check them out. Maybe do a Throwback Tuesday review for them. And like I said, please check in tomorrow for the 30 Facts About debut. I'm going to leave it a surprise as to who it is. But I think you guys are really going to like the video. Going to work very hard on it um, and the series itself. I will see you guys next time. But until then, all of these are going to be in the description below so you can check them out. See you next time. My name is Jay Morse Review Guy and I'm signing off saying farewell. Well.